everyone and welcome to my channel and welcome to my knitting corner. My name is Reetta, I'm a knitter from Finland and this is the first episode of my knitting podcast Reetta's Reading <sighs> and I am very excited. On this channel I will talk about some knitting, yarn, maybe some other crafts as well. For example, embroidery is something I really enjoy. Um, uh, but today I will do a standard knitting podcast episode. So I'll talk about some finished objects, some works in progress, and some yarn <laughs> I've recently welcomed into my life. Uh, but in the future, I would also like to do some other types of content as well. For example, what I knit in a week or more of a chatty and um, vlog type of videos. But we will see. Uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, at Retan Resorit, which is Reta's ribbing in Finnish. My boyfriend actually came up with the name about a year ago and I'm not ready just yet to change it in English, but we'll see. Uh, so welcome, I'm glad you joined me, I hope you enjoy and like this video. And if you do enjoy, please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment. I'd love to chat with you and get to know you all and really just join the commu community here on YouTube. Um, but yeah, so let's just start the video. Um, grab your knitting or whatever you're working on and let's just <laughs> Go! I'm sorry, I've never talked to a camera before, so <sighs> this is new to me, but I'm excited, but a little nervous as well. But yeah, let's do it! Let's talk about my first and actually the only finished object I'm going to show you today. It was hard for me to decide what to show you or how many projects to show you here as my finished objects but I decided to go with just this one this very recent one and um, maybe I'll show you more of what I've done in the past in future videos and of course you'll see them as I will probably wear them while I'm making the videos but yeah so the, my most recent finished object is this sweater I am wearing right now and most of you probably know <laughs> what this is. This is the Petite, uh, petite Knit Moby sweater and I used um, Novita which is a Finnish yarn brand. I used their Seitsemän Velestä Nummi yarn and I really like these um, tweed specs. I think they pair up well with the cable design and I'm very pleased with how this one turned out. Uh, I finished this a few weeks ago already and I was uh, spending a weekend in Norway in Oslo and I was wearing this almost all <laughs> all the time there so and the yarn actually is more of a soft yarn so it has wool and then some polyamide in it i know some people find it uncomfortable to wear but i don't find it itchy or scratchy or um yeah uncomfortable in any way i really do like this yarn and i actually have another sweater in a similar yarn which I use quite a lot. I'm actually not that sensitive at all when it comes to like the scratchiness or itchiness of fibers. So I can pretty much wear <laughs> anything and I do love the feel of more rustic wool also. 
I really do like this design. I've made a few picket knit patterns before and I really do like her style of writing patterns. They are simple and easy to follow and this was no exception. I've made, for example, the Ingrid sweater and I really do like that one as well. Um, and well, I'd say I'm a pretty experienced knitter i've been knitting for almost 20 years i'd say i learned from my mom very young when i just could hold needles and i've been doing knitting and other crafts ever since so i'm not <laughs> i'd say i'm not a beginner and i am very comfortable with a lot of techniques like short rows cables car work but yeah, I think this cable pattern was quite easy to memorize. So you, once you get the hang of it, you can just, just keep on going and it's very addictive. So this was really a joy to work on and I finished it quite quickly. So yeah, overall, a very great, great pattern. I like the look of it and and actually some of my other recent finished objects have been gift knits so and i've already gifted them so i don't have them here anymore but i did the ingrid sweater junior for my one-year-old nephew and he looks very adorable <laughs> in it um so yeah that's this sweater uh, so let's move on to my works in progress and this first one i am very very excited about so this is the oppa sweater by ikyo 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 knits i hope i'm not butchering the name um, but yeah, this is um, a beautiful, beautiful color work design. It has this raglan sleeves. This is a top-down design and this is beautiful. <laughs> um, I'm using quite a different yarn than is uh, recommended in the pattern. I just did a swatch and did some calculations and I'm knitting the largest size to get about the measurements of the smallest one. It'll give me a little bit less positive ease probably than what the pattern is suggesting, but I think this will fit me very nicely. So um, I am using the Lamana Como yarn. I have the balls here. So um, these ones, uh, the white color is just number zero and then this one, the brown one, this is more of like a camel brown. This is the color 30. And these are 25 gram balls and they give you about a hundred and twenty meters of this super fine merino. They are hundred percent super fine merino wool, and these are so soft and so light. Um, this one small um, twenty-five gram ball seems to last forever, and the sweater is going to be very light, and it doesn't take up m much of the yarn. And yeah, I'm using a four millimeter needle to knit this up. I actually have the hem here uh, on this knitting barber uh, cord. Um, I might just begin the ribbing here, but I'm first working on the sleeves just to see how much of this uh, brown color I will use up on the sleeves because I am playing a little bit of yarn chicken here 
and I will have to see if I have to order like one ball extra so before I lengthen the hem I will do the at least one of the sleeves and see how the yarn goes but I think this is very nice there is this very cute like details there's this line here I hope you can see that and then um, the raglan line is actually pearl bumps so that's a very nice design element yeah I like the pattern it's not I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to a complete beginner there's something you have to just like guess <laughs> or know everything is not completely explained it's easy enough to follow and if you do like to knit this up i would think you probably um if you're not familiar with the color works and stuff like that you probably will have to use some more <laughs> brain energy <laughs> but you'll be fine but yeah this is beautiful and i can't wait to wear this when the weather gets a little bit warmer and sunnier and more spring-like it's very much winter <laughs> still here in finland so yeah this is probably all i want to say about this project for now uh just the yarn is so nice this is probably one of my new favorite yarns and it's a bit on the pricier side so i probably won't be able to do every future project in this one even though that would be amazing but there are so many other amazing yarns and fibers out there so i'm not mad but this is very nice very soft where very smooth and buttery feel feels very luxurious I can't wait. I had a gift card to my local yarn store that I got for my birthday and I got this yarn with that. I wanted to treat myself with something a little bit extra nice. Uh, but yeah, and then um, I next work in Ogre. Um, is this one? Uh, this doesn't look like much. I'm looking at the screen. Like, can you see anything? It's going to be a ribbed top. The pattern is Art Knits Lona Ribbitoppi. Mm, I think the pattern, pattern is only in Finnish. Just a basic ribbed summer top, uh, sleeveless. I'm using the uh, Knitting for Olive Pure Silk in the color Copper. So is this the dialogue or the color number? Where? Copper. Uh, it's very nice. I think it suits my like brown hair, <laughs> brown eyes, skin tone. Um, I'm already. That's my boyfriend sneezing. <laughs> He's in the other room. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm already imagining wearing this top with some linen pants and sunglasses and just strolling around in the summery Helsinki so can't wait for the summer can't wait to get that top done that's been a work in progress for a while now I've been using that for like a commute project because it's just ribbing so it's easy to uh, mindless knit, mindlessly knit so I don't I've not worked on it that much at home I just 
do that in a in the metro or actually when I was in Norway and I was meeting in a museum when we were walking around I had a thing in my hands so it's uh, a slow work in progress there's uh, well there's so much snow that there's plenty of time to finish it before summer gets here and then uh, I have one more um, work in progress that I'm actively working on right now so I'll show that one next and this is a little bit of a smaller project and a step and a stairs busting one so oh well these are uh, fingerless mittens I have one one ready so looks like this um, and the other one I just started on the cuff this is drops brushed alpaca silk, some beige color, and then this is some sock yarn. I have um, had <laughs> in my stash for a while. I think this is Novita Venla, but I'm not 100% sure. But it's just a fingering weight. Wait. Yarn and I'm using them together. And I have, I think these are 2.5 millimeters, so I'm getting quite a dense uh, fabric. So I'm hoping that it'll even just a little bit stop the wind since I, I love to knit outside on walks or just go to the beach. We live uh, very near the sea which is just outside our yard so I really like to go to the beach and knit but in the springtime it's quite breezy out there so I'm hoping these will keep my hands warm as I knit outside and enjoy the springtime so I'm using a free pattern on Ravelry it's called the Pioneer blouse and I can't remember the designer's name and I didn't write it anywhere. The info is on my phone, which I'm using to record this. Okay, something just happened to my phone and I had to take it off of this um, stand I have for it. So if the picture moved, I'm sorry, <laughs> it was due to that. Um, but yeah, well, where was I? So I will put the info somewhere on the screen or in the description box below but uh, I'm doing some modi modifications I cast it on puber stitches that was uh, called for in the pattern and then I didn't do it there was a stockinette uh, part at the bottom or at the beginning so I just started on the 3 by 2 rib right away. And then last but not least, the new yarn I have bought recently, or actually the yarn I uh, bought from Oslo when I was spending a weekend there and I had a day for myself that I was spending alone in the city. So, of course, <laughs> I had to take the time to get to know the city by um, strolling around different yarn shops. And I found a few very nice shops and some lovely yarn. So, in this episode, there is quite a lot of new yarn. So, I don't shop always this much at the time. So, all the future episodes won't be this heavy <laughs> with um, yarn acquisitions but yeah let me show you they are all in this cute bag I got from one of the shops it's from uh, through Quist and 
uh, it says nothing is impossible as long as you know how to knit and I couldn't agree more <laughs> um, so the first one I got it's, uh, it's this DC Garn Bio Shetland uh, I got a sweater quantity of this one this is 100% pure organic wool and the color is 01 I'm not set on a project I have few in mind but I haven't decided but I love this color um, I love neutrals so this is a very beautiful one and this is uh, you get 280 meters per uh, 50 grams of this yarn so yeah that's the first one I got then um, the next one is this I visited the pickles store and I got this one um, which is the summer wool, so summer uh, wool, which is 55% uh, lame wool, uh, so sheep wool, and then 45% uh, ecologist bull wool, so um, cotton. Yeah. So this is cotton and wool blend and this color is do, 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 shade SD017 so Is this brown? Very nice um, I'm thinking of doing a top with this and actually all the yarns I have left I think I'm going to do some kind of tops I really like to use tops in my everyday life. I either use like these long sleeves or then sleeveless tops. I really don't use t-shirts that often. But yeah, this is very soft and um, I love the, the store they had and it was lovely. Uh, there was some lovely stuff, so I really enjoyed my visit there. Uh, and yeah, I really don't know what to say about just these balls of yarn. <laughs> uh, just that they are amazing. Then I got this uh, Gibbard yarn, Cashmere Me, 100% pure cashmere. And uh, can you tell I like neutral colors? Um, yeah, this is so soft. This is 25 grams and it gives you 175 meters. It's a very fine, very soft, beautiful yarn. And I can't wait to cast on a top with this one. I almost have decided the pattern. I'm sorry if I annoy you when I'm not sharing the projects I'm planning on, but I'm not sure about them yet, so I'll show you in some future episodes a good cliffhanger for you to come back <laughs> to my channel. And then, last but not least, this was probably one I am most excited about. This was from the shop uh, Fruit Fruit Feast, and this is a local yarn from um, Oslo Mikrospinneri, and this is their Marka Garn. The label is very cute, and um, this is fifty percent uh, wool and 25% linen and then 25% silk 
and 50 grams gives you 123 meters. And this is a very special yarn. I think this was this was quite expensive, but so beautiful. And I believe this was uh, hand dyed in Oslo or somewhere near. So very local and oh, yeah, so beautiful. I couldn't resist. There were beautiful colors, beautiful yarns, but this special brown one, it's just, it just screamed my name. I really do like this. <sighs> it's beautiful. But yeah, we'll see uh, when I have time to cast all those on and um, work on those projects. I'm the type of knitter who has like seven projects at once and then nothing gets ready when I just switch uh, around what I'm working on. So there's no rush. I like to enjoy every step there is when knitting and making a garment from picking out the yarn uh, picking out the patterns, winding up, up the balls, like from the hanks, and just enjoy every stitch. And I really do like to believe like less is more knitting for me. It helps me relax, it helps me clear my thoughts, and it's a very dear hobby. Of mine and dear way to spend my free time but I don't want to be set on like doing more and more on just enjoying the process as we go and yeah I I really would like to talk more about like the mindful part of knitting and um, like intentionality I know there's a lot of podcasters who have amazing videos about that and talk about that but I think that's a very important uh, topic just not to make knitting a race and just take your time and enjoy every stitch and every mistake every time you have to rip back it teaches I think knitting teaches me to be present to be patient to appreciate the work my hands and mind do it together and create something beautiful. So I think those are some of the most important things in knitting and for me personally. And then the fact that I can then wear something I made with love and take care of it and uh, make it last. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say today so i hope you enjoyed i know i did and come say hey in the comment section or on instagram i would love to talk to you and yeah i hope i'll see you on my next video bye